Introducing App Maker, no code app builder. Do you want to convert your healthcare Shopify store into a mobile app? With App Maker, you can convert your Shopify e commerce store into an app that will help you to reach more customers. So, here's a look at a Shopify web store in action. Let me show you how to use our new and enhanced App Maker app to create a native Android and iOS app for this store. This website will be converted into a fully functional app that looks exactly like this. To make your store more engaging and appealing, you can add banners, grids, image sliders, and more. Your Shopify store and the app will be in real-time sync. The app you develop with AppMaker will include all of the products and categories from the website. AppMaker offers options such as Add to Cart, Wishlist tab, adding coupons, and much more. Customers may check out directly from the app for purchasing their selected products. To create an app, we need to add the AppMaker app to your Shopify dashboard. You can find the link for the app in the video description. When you click the link, you'll be sent directly to the AppMaker's app page in the Shopify App Store. AppMaker provides a 14-day free trial to try and explore the app without any card commitments. So let's get started. When you arrive at the AppMaker landing page, click Add App button, which takes you to a permission screen. Once you are in, these are the app permissions you'll need to provide AppMaker in order for it to work properly. After you've gone over everything, click on the Add Sales channel. AppMaker has now been added to your Shopify store. Welcome to the new AppMaker dashboard, which has been upgraded and improved. AppMaker has been added as a new channel to the left side panel under the online store. Let's start the customization. On the App Builder dashboard, you'll notice a variety of options for customizing and controlling the look and feel of your app. This block option allows you to add a banner, grid, menu, and other basic blocks. And as per the requirements, you can delete, add, or rearrange the blocks. To start with, I'm editing the home page here. Let's start by adding an image slider to the home page. Sliders are a type of block that can be found on in-app pages. For each slide, multiple slides will be displayed in the same space. By clicking on the slider block, you can set custom actions to each slider. With the action menu, you can set actions to each and every banner and slider. The drop down list will include categories, tags, items, and a variety of other options. When the user clicks on the slider after you've assigned an action, you'll be redirected to the page you've specified. Now simply drag the slider option from the block section into this area to add a slider. The image slider will work best with images that are 1080 by 546 pixels in size. We'll start by adding an image to the slider. Select an image for the slider by clicking on Upload. Image has been added to the slider, as you can see. You can add additional sliders by clicking on the plus icon. Let me add a few more images to the sliders here. By clicking on the slider block, you may apply actions to each slider. AppMaker action can be seen on the right side. You can choose from a variety of options here, such as opening in-app pages, viewing a URL on the web, viewing a product list, and so on. For this slider, I selected Open All Product. You can also choose to replace your images here. Similarly, I've gone ahead and assigned actions to the remaining sliders. For this particular slider, I used collections and pages with deals. You may align the sliders in the block by clicking on the Move Arrow button. We can remove or duplicate blocks on our app home page by clicking on the three dots option on the block and replacing them with much more engaging ones. Let's add a lovely banner below the slider with some action. 
The banner image size should be 1080 by 546 pixels. You may also enable the image title in this section. You can give images title to your banner under image title. I'll give it a title now. As an example, let's add the image title as medics. However, you are free to add any title that suits your needs. AppMaker also has a function called product by collection. It's a product scroller that pulls products from your store and displays them on your mobile app automatically. Choose products by collection from the first drop-down menu. And then select the collection you want to highlight from the second drop-down menu. As you can see, the entire collection has been added here. Allow me to add a couple more options on the main page now. We customized the home page and incorporated all of the features we required. Once the home page is ready, we can create other landing pages for the mobile app. But first and foremost, always remember to save your modifications. Now, let's add an in app page. In app pages help to create native pages in your app without writing a single line of code. You can make use of the drag and drop interface to design pages by adding images, texts, products, etc. Go to the in app pages section and select Add New Page. Now you'll see a blank page with the option to add a block. In the right hand settings bar, you can change the page title. I will add the title as Medicines. You can stylize your app background color from here, and also you can do the same with the home page. Let's begin with an offer for our first banner. And set the desired action for the image using the App Maker action. Now let's make a grid below that. In App Pages, use the grid block to display many products, deals, and new releases in a column manner on a single line. Grid's recommended image size is 500 by 500 pixels. Let's put this grid together for the categories. To include all subcategories, we might have to increase the number of columns. Each block can have up to five columns. We can also experiment with some additional options provided here. You'll be able to select multiple images at once in the updated version of the AppMaker dashboard. Now, I'll choose these images and upload them to the grids. You may also move the images around by dragging the dots or rearranging them with the arrow keys. Add the action to the grids as well. Below the grid column option, we can find four other options. The first one will be enabling split. If you have multiple categories in your grid, you can enable split to break those categories into different sections. Next will be the view more button. View more buttons are dynamic components that display additional content. It shows additional hidden content which is available. And enabling grid title helps you add a specific title to each grid. And by enabling the show image title, you can add titles to each image in your grid. Add the action to the grids as well. I designed and built the page in the same way we did with the home page, with sliders, grids, banners, and other elements. These sites will be linked together to assist customers in finding the best solutions for them. The Customize App area allows you to design the app's overall architecture. Now we'll look at how to set up the menu. Menus make it easy to find what your consumers are looking for, and seeing a store that is well-organized encourages them to buy additional products from your app. To make a new menu, click the Add Menu item. Here is where you'll put the name of your menu. I'll change the title to Home. Choose an action from the App Maker action menu on the dashboard's right side. You can either choose a non-actionable menu by clicking on the title from the dropdown, or you can choose an actionable menu type, which is the menu item. I'm creating a menu item for the home menu. You can also select a menu icon from this image option. Select an icon by clicking on Upload, and this is how it appears. 
I'm making one for the category and selecting the menu type as the title to make it a non-actionable menu. By selecting the plus icon, you may add submenus here. You can move the menu around by using the arrow keys or dragging and dropping it. I'm using a similar method to create extra menu items. I've also included the Offers page, the Contact Us page, and other pages to the menu. You can also select the appropriate menu items and adjust them to meet your own requirements. When you're finished, click Save. The next feature will be the Update App option. The Update App area allows you to make general changes to the app, such as altering the name, uploading app icons, and so on. First and foremost, we have an app icon. Drag and drop your corporate logo here or click on Upload. The app icon's recommended image size is 512 by 512 pixels. You can also add a launch screen to your app. This will be your app's initial splash screen. The splash screen should be at least 480 by 480 pixels in size. On the right side, you can see how the app will look on your customer's phone. Also, you can add background colors for your splash screen from here. After you've uploaded your images, click the Next button to get to the Colors tab. Here, you can match your app's appearance and feel to your company's branding. You may watch the changes happen in real time and experiment with the colors until you're happy. Once you've finished, you can move on to the next page. You can customize the app's logo and basic pictures, such as the push notification logo, toolbar logo, login logo, and header logo on this screen. Choose a suitable image with a resolution of 512 by 512 pixels and a PNG type for the drawer header. The push notification button's image size will be 100 by 100 pixels in PNG format. The login logo will be 450 by 150 pixels in size. You can enable the toolbar logo from here if you like. After you've added the icons, you're ready to go. Click on Next. It will take you to the Settings page. Here you may learn about the features that can help us improve our branding. You can experiment with these options and use them according to your requirements. If you wish to add a quantity button to each product, you can enable this option in the Grocery Mode option. You may also activate a Language Switcher and Currency Switcher which will improve the customer experience by allowing them to choose preferred languages and currencies. Finally, you can select the languages in which you want the app to be available. Simply select a language from the drop-down menu. If you wish to add languages, simply type the language name into the search area. We also have the ability to delete languages in the upper right corner. Now let's take a quick look at the AppMaker subscriptions. The details of AppMaker's subscription can be seen here. There is a 14-day free trial with AppMaker, following which you can choose from any of these plans to continue. We also have an amazing feature in AppMaker that allows you to add push notifications to your app. A push notification feature is a useful tool for increasing client engagement and retention. Push notification functionalities are included in all AppMaker plans, and with a five-step configuration, you may send push notifications to your consumers to achieve compelling results. You can also check the link in our description to know more about how to set up the push notifications feature on your dashboard. Now return to the Update App page from here, first, click on the Save button to save all your progress before clicking on the Build App button in the top right corner. It will take about 5 minutes to get ready. Your app is ready for both Android and iOS devices. I downloaded and installed the app file from the dashboard on my Android device. Let's take a look at the icon for the mobile app we've created. 
by clicking on it. This will be my home page, as you can see by the fact that all of the images are in their right positions. Hover over the menu to see how it looks with all of the submenus we've added. Let's examine what options appear when we click on this icon. You can find all of our products are in this section. Now let's look at the options for one of the products. The Add to Cart and Buy buttons are shown here. The selected product will be added to the cart if we click the Add to Cart button. You have the option of selecting the number of products required. Simply use the plus or minus buttons. Customers can add things to their wishlist using the wishlist tab. You also have the option of including coupons. All of the changes performed in the App Builder dashboard are reflected in the mobile app, as we can see. This is how you can make a no-code mobile app quickly and easily. Thank you for joining us in the App Maker Shopify tutorial. To turn your mobile app dream into reality, go to appmaker.xyz.